The story of the railgun in Helldivers 2 has been insane. At one point, it was the number one support weapon in the game, one-shotting Bile Titans left and right. It was the only support weapon that the majority of players even wanted to use. IGN was even posting articles saying players were getting kicked from lobbies for not running it. And even though I think this was a very tiny minority of lobbies and IGN clearly rage-baited this, it was still a narrative being played out within the community. But the story of the railgun didn't stop there. It was nerfed shortly into the game's lifespan and was was quickly known as the worst support weapon after that. Or was it? Now, there's one recent patch note that is making me make this video, and that patch note is, fixed an issue that resulted in different damage being dealt en to enemies between PC and console players. And another YouTuber, Odo, posted a video a couple weeks ago, and he showed that even after the supposed railgun nerf, you could still two-shot Bile Titans with the railgun if you had crossplay turned on in the settings and a PS5 player was in your lobby. Did the railgun ever one-shot enemies on PC? Well, when I posted my Bile Titan breakdown video covering its various mechanics, I included that first clip from Crazy Mr. Pips because I went into many kill a Bile Titan missions and I could never get the one shot with the railgun, or even a two or three shot for that matter. On PC, from what I could tell, and solo at least, I could never kill Bile Titans with the railgun at a fast pace. It always took me roughly six shots. Now back to the story of the railgun, because this nerf did not sit well with a lot of players. The railgun is a level 20 stratagem. You don't unlock it until you've played the game for many hours and unlocked at least level 6 or 7 difficulty. And when more heavy armored enemies start spawning on this difficulty, we want a high level support weapon that can deal with them and give us more versatility. And the railgun's description literally says it's an experimental weapon that prioritizes heavy armor. But with the nerf to it, it's really not viable against any heavy armored enemies such as Bile Titans anymore at all. In my opinion, and many other players' opinions, the nerf hit it way too hard. Now, we also have to bring up up another change that was made that also has a big part in this story. Because the railgun was only popular in the first place because it was one of the only good actual anti-armor options against the bugs. And shortly after it's nerfed, they buffed the flamethrower to kill chargers easily, and they also lowered the damage of charger heads so that anti-tanks were now able to one-shot them. Now all of these changes combined did actually diversify the meta to where everyone has been using all kinds of support weapons after that. So alongside the the railgun nerf on top of the buffs to other specific support weapons and how they damage certain enemies. Now on my videos, when I just post a video about a specific support weapon, I see comments from people all the time of how they use their favorite support weapon to do the same job and how all of these support weapons are viable now. So basically the railgun nerf alongside those fixes was actually pretty positive for the game. But even with that being the case, and now that it's a couple weeks later and a lot of people are playing different loadouts now and the meta is developed diversified now, we kinda have to admit that the railgun was still ultimately nerfed because of a bug between crossplay lobbies. And to be honest, we weren't really aware of the crossplay bug until about a month into the game's life cycle. I'm not sure if the devs were even aware of this either at the time. Because to be honest, that's a really weird bug to pinpoint down. If you're just looking at any normal squad gameplay, you often have crossplay on, you often have a PS5 player in your lobby. I would imagine it's really hard to narrow it down to those specific parameters, and that's why it took about a month for the community to figure it out. Ultimately, the railgun wasn't intended to one-shot Bile Titans, and only a bug let it do that. And so here we are in the railgun story now, where in the most recent patch, they finally fixed the issue that resulted in different damage being dealt to enemies between PC and console players. The real culprit of one-shotting Bile Titans has finally been fixed. So honestly, I think that's pretty much proves that that is the case. So now with all of that stuff out of the way, let's talk about where the balance of the railgun should actually be right now, because I'm only gonna say it, only the damage of the railgun should be reverted. I actually think that the changes with the charge times and safe versus unsafe mode should probably stay in the game. Getting to a 90% charge actually takes a couple seconds and there is that danger of it blowing up on yourself. So if we keep the safe and unsafe stuff, what should the damage of the railgun be? 
And I think it should be able to two-shot chargers instead of three-shotting them. It would still be worse than a Quasar Cannon, an Eat, or a Recoilless Rifle, since those all one-shot chargers. And it would honestly still be worse than a Flamethrower versus a Charger, because a Flamethrower can kill a Charger in about two seconds. Now, at the same time, I think the Railgun could be able to six-shot Bile Titans, just like it did on solo PC lobbies, when now it takes about all 20 shots to kill a Bile Titan. What this would do to it would make it a viable option against bugs. You would be able to deal with chargers, you would be able to help out and deal some chip damage to Bile Titans, like maybe someone on your team shoots a rocket at a Bile Titan's head and then you get the last three shots, but at the same time it would technically still be worse than all of the anti-tank options against Bile Titans, and it would still be worse than the flamethrower against chargers. And this is considering the charge up time of each railgun shot as well. It would be a lot slower than those options, but it would still be viable against those enemies. But here's where the railgun fits in, is that it's much more spammable against medium enemies, and that would put it in a nice middle ground option between the anti-tanks and the flamethrower. For example, the flamethrower can kill chargers in seconds, faster than the railgun, and it's amazing for all the mobs of bugs in the game, but the flamethrower does pretty much zero damage against bile titans. So you have that option in the flamethrower for taking out chargers and all the mobs, and then let's compare this to all the anti-tank options. They're great against bile titans they're great against chargers but they're not really that great against mobbing because the quasar cannon has a 13 second cooldown time and the other rocket launchers have limited ammo and that's where the railgun would come in it would sit cleanly in the middle of all of these options being versatile against everything while not being the best at anything because it has 20 ammo if you spam it way too much against medium enemies while well, you're only going to have enough ammo left for a couple chargers or one bile titan and at the same time if you're the only person with a railgun and you're the only anti-tank option it's probably not enough for the hordes of bile titans that spawn on hell dive and i think with the charge speed of the slow firing basically and also the 20 ammo actually being fairly limited you do have to call in a couple resupplies here and there two shots to a charger and six shots to a Bile Titan would put it in the perfect spot. And I came to that conclusion while really thinking about this a lot, and also the fact that it kind of did that pre-patch, pre-nerf, and on solo PC, it never felt like the most broken option to me. So the story of the Railgun has been a wild ride from the top of the food chain to the bottom, and I'd really like to see it shine again, even as a person who didn't use it that much. I've always been a person who hasn't subscribed to the meta, I like being the underdog and I find stuff people aren't doing and you could check my channel to show that I was using the arc thrower before it was popular. I was promoting the slugger before it was popular. But even though I'm not a meta person, I do feel like the railgun was unfairly targeted by the balancing devs because it was known as the best meta OP, bring it to hell dive and get through it solo, no problem. But at the same time, there really weren't any other great options. You know, anti-tanks never used to one-shot chargers. I don't believe they two-shot bile titans, but to be fair, I didn't use many rocket launchers before the buff. And also, it was a bug making it able to do so much much against bile titans and being as strong as it was and that's honestly just my thoughts on the situation so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this video i'd appreciate it if you drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for more hell divers videos i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out